my dear students, it's nice to meet you today. We have a wonderful lesson. Yes, all organic wonderful. I think you know that. Do you think what this is about? The compounds that result from the benzene. Do you think what this compound? Some of them useful and the other harmful. We'll study both of them. Both are result from the reaction of the benzene ring. Do you know what this? I'll see it with you. Ready, my dear? Yes, we are ready. Let's go now and see. D, D, T. What this means? It's insecticides, I know. This insecticides of D, D, T, it was used in a great extent because of its several poisonous on all kind of insects. DDT. This compound is very important and very dangerous in the pores. Kill insects. Dichloro, diphenyl trichlorotoluene. Effect directly for the nerve cell in the human nerve cell of insects, nerve cell for different animal by the action of its appointment. You see, its potential all time. Potential result from the positive and the negative charges of it. Now, reaction, not a stud. Reaction is stay all time. Kill people in the same time to kill insects. Kill both in the same time. Dichloro, diphenyl, toluene. Hyperization for it divided into two sections. One of them is move inside the plant and the other for the insects. The insects travel directly to where? To its nervous system and kill it. After time, I say the other part travel to plant directly to human, indirectly to human. Why? Because this compound moves the solvent easily and dissolve it easily. This compound is stopped from the world because it's expensive and they kill a lot of people. Do you want to kill a people? I don't think so. This shape for the beginning of the DDT. Two benzene ring connected by chlorine, connected by toluene and CCL3. Dichlorodiphenyl carbon of what? Toluene. This reaction for Friedel and Kraft reaction. This back to the group, the aromatic, you have a benzene and you have ALCL3 and the group of R, alkyl group, and C, double bond O, C, Bri electrons. I have a cyl group at the end. What happened for this reaction? I have a cyl chloride. This oxide chloride beginning for the action by transferring of the electron from the group of the benzene to the group of the acyl group. Brie step to know that R alkyl group C double bond O C L by seven electrons. One of them traveled to react with A L. As you see, this electron is called Brie electron according to Lewis base. The other one, AlCl3, this is called Lewis acid. Do you think what happened here change from AlCl3 to AlCl4? You have now new compound of R, C, double bond O, and positive. This reaction here has a two electrons. These two electrons can go and pack. One of them go to, be to carbon to be triple bond. But this is not right because it's difficult to say oxygen has triple bond. No carbocation re reagent. It's difficult. What is the main rule here? This is temporary one, not infixed. Result for decreased of the second according to the motion of electrons. No carbocation here. After that, the reaction will complete it with benzene ring. The quick product method appear. 
according to Friedel and Crafts. To prepare what? I want to prepare a tall one. So alkyl group is called here CH3, CH2, C double bond O, Cl. Also in the presence of more AlCl3. Here start breaking the down the bond of the ring of the what? Of the benzene and produce new product. Benzene ring C double bond O, CH2, CH3. What else? This not a stop. It give me ring of what? Benzene. C R double bond O. What this reaction? This reaction to obtain good to obtain tolerant. Now I have alkynation. The alkynation it means Friedel and the Kraft reaction. Yes, we know. When I get a benzene ring and I add here CH3 Cl, this reaction is very easy. It replaced by Cl with hydrogen to give HCl. And what this? It means CH3 for mid here. What this? It's a tall one plus HCl is formed. Alcohol and phenol. Alcohol and phenol is very important, and I must know what is the difference between them. Alcohol, phenol. The first sulfonation process in which the atom of the benzene ring replaced, replaced by what? By sulfonation acid group. Example. What this? Benzene ring. What this reaction? This is sulfuric acid to explain sulfonation. Sulfonation, sulfuric. I can write sulfuric acid HOSO3H. Yes, to help me what happened inside this reaction. I find that the benzene ring connected by SO3H. Where is the other? Where is OH? OH here combined with the hydrogen from benzene and they give us H2O water. What this? Sulfonation. The molecule of the detergent composed of two parts which are called tail and head. The tail has a long carbon chain which is hydrophobic. The head is an ionic group which is hydrophic. Hydrophobic, hydrophic. What this mean? It means alkyl benzene sodium sulfate CH3, CH2, CH2, CH, CH2, CH, CH2, CH, connected by all of this. SO3NA. Alcohol. Do you know what this word mean? Alcohol. Yes. Alcohol, it means compound that consists of alkyl group as, look at this, CH3OH. Methanol. OH, it means all. So CH3, methan, methyl group, methanol. Methanol, according to the name of APAC, or methyl alcohol, the other name, APAC, methanol. Also, I have here the other one, CH3, CH2, OH. Do you know what this means? Ethyl and OH. Directly we say ethanol according to APAC or it has a what? Ethyl alcohol. This is the other name. You have compound CH3, CH2, CH2OH. You are a good student to tell me what this means according to APAC. It means propanol. Other name I know N, propyl alcohol. N, it means the number here of OH, in which carbon, I can say the carbon here, number three connected with OH, so OH here, one propyl alcohol, according to OH. The other one, CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, and I have here what? OH. Do you know what this means? This is the difference one. OH here in the carbon number two. Don't forget numeration beginning from the closest group of functional group as two because carbon number two, butanol because it has a four carbon. This is what according to AOPACS. The first I say from ethylene, it means CH2 double bond CH2 plus water. Do you think what it will be? 
can be for this case in the presence of sulfuric acid and temperature equal 110. Give me CH3, CH2, OH. Do you think what this means? Ethanol. After that, when I get the speaker and I put here the thermometer and I try to obtain ethanol, can I do that? It's very easy. The boiling point here is it changed from ethanol from part to another. Why? According to its organic compound has low melting point. I have ethanol 100%. The preparation here, when I get this ethane and I add water to this reaction and I say what it will form in the presence of what? Sulfuric acid. I add water. Yes, I add water for this reaction. And I stay for a time. What I catch after this reaction? There is new compound is for ethanol. 100%? Yes. Low boiling point, yeah, because it's a pure one. Properties of ethanol, C2H5OH. Reaction with alkyl, reaction with carboxylic acid, and combustion. Reaction with alkyl metal. Alkyl metal here is very important to say, I have ethanol. I have a sodium. It's a metal, you see, and I have a kerosene. And I get here dash, contain calcium chloride. Different tubes. Now, when I get this calcium chloride, I put it for different tube. I add drop of ethanol. Do you think what this reaction will be? This alcohol without water. Calcium chloride removed water from alcohol. So it's a pure and dry one. Another one, I get here sodium and I put it here for this reaction. You see, CH3, CH2OH and the sodium. Give me new sodium ethoxide. Sodium ethoxide, new compound. If I put glowing splint here, it's a burn. Hydrogen gas evolved. What this reaction? This reaction with ethanol, sodium isoxide, metal, alkali metal with ethanol and give hydrogen gas. Don't forget, this reaction is dangerous reaction. All bubbles of the hydrogen can make bob sound. It's important to remove moisture from it. Second one, the reaction of ethanol with isonic acid and sulfuric acid. Get now ethanol, drops of ethanol. Ethanol is crossed materials. I put in this tube and also drops of ethanic acid. Now, what about this reaction and the drops of sulfuric acid to avoid reversible reaction? This reaction to produce ester. This is called esterification, CH2. C2H5OH plus CH3COOH give me CH3COO C2H5 plus water. Now this has a smell, fruity smell, wonderful smell. It means ester. So you have esterification. Important reaction and reversible reaction. I prevented how? By adding drops of sulfuric acid that absorb water and prevent this reaction to return back to the product and reactants. My dear, this reaction is not all thing. I have a combustion. Combustion here, I have a split lamp, has ethanol, and I have a cap. Now, do you think ethanol burn or not? Remove the cap now and burn this tap. What you have? I have here carbon dioxide. I have a water. I have energy. Yes, don't forget it's organic compound. All organic compound give us what? Give us carbon dioxide and water and a huge amount of energy. Now, Burning, yes, combustion, yeah, to give the same all organic compound from the carbon dioxide and water and large amount of energy. 
What is the phenol? This question all people say, what is the phenol? Carbolic acid, it means benzyl ring connected with what? OH. If it connected OH and other one for H, it changes to other one. Phenol is the crystals. You see, crystals, these crystals find in the form benzene and at the top OH. But I say carbolic because it's corrosive on skin, can burn the skin. Alcohol and phenol physical preparators. There is a common between phenol and alcohol. Alcohol contain group OH, phenol the same. But the difference, alcohol has alkyl group, the other has aryl group, phenol has aryl. Common in where? Hydroxyl group only determine the physical properties for each one. To catch them, I have here R, for the other I have aromatic. So, the shape is a change. Alcohol boiling point can be changed from 6, 5, 7, 8, 9, 7, and so on. Number of the carbon increase, it means boiling point increase. This is especially for alcohol. Increasing strong according to the force strengthening of the carbon chain of them. What is the effect of the branching on the boiling point of the alcohol? You can say isomal butanol. It means the branch one. The opposite, the temperature here decrease. Branch, decrease temperature. The open one, chain one, or open chain increasing the temperature. The molecular formula C4, H10, and O. Temperature here decrease and decrease and decrease. Why? Because it's a branch. Why? Because it's easy to breaking down the bond of it. The branch bond for the opposite of the open chain one. 170 decreased to 99, decreased to 89. After that, butanol decreased to arrive to butyl alcohol, 82 degree lowest boiling point because it has three branches. Alcohol. Alcohol here, it's a boiling point for CH3, CH2OH. Arrive to boiling point, what? 351 Kelvin. Ether. Ether is a differ, 248 hydrocarbon, to halorene, to 358. You can catch now, different in boiling point from one to another. From the lower, increase and increase from the compound to another. Why? Because all of them back to its bond. Look at this. This is intermolecular hydrogen bond between this group. Both of them, OH and OH, connected by sigma bond. Alcohol and phenol have a higher boiling point than ether and the hydrocarbon. Alcohol, according to solubility, alcohol can dissolve. Phenol can dissolve. But where? Alcohol is the organic compound. Have a group of OH and alkyl group. Solubility decrease. When I get a tube, ethanol and the other low molecular mass alcohol are completely miscible in water. Not be dissolved. Why? Because it has low solubility, low dissolving. Molecule would you expect to have the higher boiling point as one pentanol, one heptanol, higher. One pentanol, one heptanol, higher back to what? Back to long chain. This long chain, it's open, difficult to be broken. You see, here branch start to be appear, but in the same time, in the shape of the long one. So long carbon decrease its uh, dissolving and solubility. Methanol, as you see, C2H5OH, and mesoxine, or 1-propanol, differ, branch. Branch here, it means decrease the boiling point between them, easy to be broken. 1-hexanol, or 2-3-di, Ethyl butane differ 
This branch, this not branch. This is, it means straight. So the branched one, low melting point. The organic acid, I must talk about carboxylic acid. Do you think? Carboxylic acid is a compound. From its word, acid for the organic, it means COOH. In this lesson, shall learn the carboxylic acid group and ethanic acid. Here it means I have here CH3COOH. Representation of the carboxylic acid, you must know, you have RCOOH. This is important for any acid. The functional group here it means bond COOH. Organic compound containing COH. Carboxylic acid, the carbon atom share a double bond with oxygen. This oxygen atom single bond with hydroxyl group and fourth bond with hydrogen atom or two, some other univalent combine. As you see, HCOO, C double bond O, and the other side OH. Do you know what this means? This it means formic acid or anti acid. Carboxylic acid usually have high boiling point than the water, highly. It's higher than the water, yes. They are typically weak acid, often having a strong odor. It has a special one. Here's the difference between alkane and the carboxylic acid. If I have alkane, methane, the acid for this is called formic acid. Why it comes from format? It means HCOOH. CH3, COH, it means ethonic acid commonly called acetic acid, is the second, the simplest carboxylic acid and the important one. It contains what? When I say isonic acid, formed by oxidation of ethanol in the air by fermentation in the presence of acetobacter, acetobacter bacteria. Yes, this is as enzymes. Now, if you have methanol with CO, methanol and the carbon monoxide are reacted in the presence of the catalyst iodine and rubidium to produce isonic acid. Now you can say the esters. Esters here is very important because it has good smell of fruits, different fruits, have a characteristic smell, and are often used in flavoring and perfumes. This is ester. Juice has good smell of ester, as propyl ethanoid smell of what? Of beers. Butyl butanoid, what this means? A smell of pine apple. Butanoid is easy. Methyl butanoid, a smell of apple. Different names with different smell. Ester here, they contain this group of atoms, COO, which is written bond, COO bond. You find it, you find ester. After that, you can say ester are made from the reaction of carboxylic acid with alcohol. You remember ester, esterification. Carboxylic acid and alcohol give ester a water. Esterification reaction. This type of reaction between carboxylic acid and alcohol in the presence of sulfuric acid to form a sweet odor, substance of ester, with the functional group C double bond O and C is called esterification. Catch it now. You have here ethanol. C2H5 and CH3COOH, it means acetic acid. Alcohol and acid. Directly I say both are organic. When I get about 22 to 50 milli of the alcohol and I put it in this beaker. At the same time, I need now what I need alcohol. Both of them very important, acid and alcohol. In the presence of what? In the presence of material that increases the speed of reaction, as you see. Now, 
these molecules can be appear. I put this for heating. I need a heat here, smooth one, not large amount of heat, because this reaction is very easy and very important. Here you have ethanol. You have a more? No. Well, you have acetic acid. More? No. Few amount of both, and I add it to each other. Now, I wait. What happens if you add acetic acid to ethanol? On heating them gently in the presence of the drop of sulfuric acid, the odor start to be appear. I say gently because I put it in the sea which contain boiling water. You see? A good smell here, it means the ester, new compound, has fruity smell, has a good smell. What do you have now? I have ester. This is called esterification. My student, this episode explained what is the acid, what is the phenol, what is the alcohol. You must make a relationship between all of them. You must know the functional group is different from one to another. I with you to tell me what you understood. See you soon. Thank you and goodbye.